thank you so is, much. Is the microphone on? Okay. So, you know, I do augmented reality clothing. I'll tell you a little bit about okay. that as well. Well, left now, but I'll okay. touch it up. <laughs> there we go. I like it. I like it. So, I'm Rita. How you pronounce I'm Rita. It? I'm Rita. Yeah. Like, uh, okay. I like it. It's like, it's like I'm saying I'm Rita, but it's I'm Rita. The fact about my name is uh, if you take the letter, organize it, and it spells out I am art. And I am the first no entity artist. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. It meant to be. You might yeah. be that good. And you know what's so funny is that I, I didn't start off as an artist. I used to be a banker. And then I became an artist. And then I became the first NFT artist in the UAE. But I've been looking at my name my entire life. And it's only after I became an artist NFT. that I realized my name spells out I am art. That's amazing. Isn't that crazy? So what went on, guys? That was a quick intro with Amrita. Yeah. We're here in the IBC Summit. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Thank uh, you so much. I can see people like you a lot. <laughs> the spirit, you are, is very important as well. But tell everybody that's watching yeah. right now live, who is Amrita? Okay. So, well, as I said, just a little bit of introduction about myself. So I'm the first NFT artist here in the UAE, um, but I didn't start off as that. So I was a banker turned artist. Um, and then turn first NFT artist. And actually my art style is, is also unique in itself. So I yeah. kind of also copyright that. So my art is all based on sound. So first I say a word, like I could say your name, address. Yeah. And then I capture the shape and structure of the sound wave. Wow. And then each of the lines of the sound wave, I draw to match the meaning of the word. So I combine storytelling with art, technology, and now, obviously, NFTs and blockchain. And to its core and fundamental aspect is that Web3, NFTs, Metaverse is fundamentally changing the story yeah. of Web2 and the world as we know it. And so what I try to do with my art is by creating new images, I'm creating new characters, and I'm telling the story of Web2 and how we're moving to a new world. Amazing. Yeah. I read that. You know, you just gave me a lot of insights about what is happening right now with the Web3 community. Just a short, a short, uh, how do you say it? A short about me. I came back to crypto because I left this. Because oh, I, nice. I left I left crypto for nine months. And I came back when I saw the NFT community building, artists. Um, everything you're doing is very good, not only for the Web3 community, you know, for people that you're joining. It's easy to understand yes. NFT art because it's going to emotions, uh, you know. So thank you so much for doing that, everything you're doing. Very welcome. But how was the first development of the NFT? How do you go into the NFTs? You just saw the board in your front, or it was totally different. Who was your first person that told you, oh, look, this is NFT? Well, actually, it came through because I wanted to innovate with my art, okay. right? Because my art is based on sound. And so sound is dynamic. And the problem is with the current art world where you have a flat 2D, experience yeah. like you see a painting and i would have to explain oh you know the, you know you have to send the sound wave and you have to draw the sound so actually what i wanted to do is i wanted to be able to tell that story through 2d and 3d animation and so straight away you know you could then say okay this is what the art is connected to so i was trying to actually bring the art to life that's how i stumbled across ah. nfts because i started to use I was using tech as a digital tool. Already? And this way, I could then create a new art genre which encompassed all of it, if okay. that makes sense. And so, like, and then since then, I take physical artworks um, and I create obviously digital artworks. First, I create it digitally, then I bring it, if I want to, into the physical world. Uh, like, for example, I created one of the world's largest augmented reality murals here in the yeah. IFC. So, you then take a physical artwork. And then you use augmented reality just through your phone, which is accessible to everyone. And that brings that artwork to life. Yeah. And all of a sudden, there's so much digital storytelling between the phone and the screen, or the phone and the artwork. And then you're unlocking even more creativity, but even more it's through technology. So you can do even more fantastical, wonderful things by taking people into the artwork, for example, to or by making the artwork pop out at you. And so this is fundamentally how we experience art. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I get excited that you 
you have all this passion about art, technology, yeah. and blockchain, community. I love 100%. art. So, congratulations. Yeah, I, I seen when we go into it by Ryan. And yeah. we, we, we met them. They, like, you are very good people like you and they like to work. But let's say you're, you're getting about, uh, you're getting started in NFTs, yeah? Yes. And obviously, NFT were very successful two years ago, but still now people develop it, create yes. NFTs. If somebody joining the space right now, what is the three most stuff that an NFT artist is to have to become successful or have a, a, a new project? So what I would say is, for me, like as an artist, NFT is a medium. Yeah. You know, so like I can create an NFT, I can create a physical artwork, a mural or a sculpture. And the way I would say is go in with it with the same way you approach any new art project. Like, okay. what is the story that, what is the medium? And like, for example, if you were to do oil painting, like, what is it, like, how are you going to use that canvas? Or how are you... You know, you're going to appeal to people who like oil paintings. Are you going to show them that process? Um, what are you going to, what, you know, what is that special and unique about that art process that makes it interesting to that collector? And it's the same with NFT. Like, it's like for example, like, what is your NFT story? What is the story that is telling? Who are you you're appealing to? It's collector. And also, like, for example, though, with NFTs, it's like, are you an artist who will give a physical artwork with it? Are you somebody who's going to do like augmented reality to add an experience to it? Um, and, and also, as an artist, you know, don't feel pressure that you have to produce a 10,000 NFT collection. Yeah. Because I'm an artist. I want to create art that's unique. I don't want to have feel. so many ideas. Yeah. And I don't want to every time create a massive NFT so yeah. if anything, what I'm doing is like create my art and I'm now building, which is going to come out like an NFT structure around it, okay. which is different. And so like, I'm also working a lot in also educating people yeah. because there's no point keep selling to the Web2 world. We need to increase the knowledge. So I'm also creating an education NFT Amazing. where you buy that and then you get, um, you can you can then get the course. Like, right? yeah. The course where you actually learn about like blockchain NFTs okay. and all of that. That's an idea. Thank you so yeah, much. Great, yeah, because people need to understand more, get educated. Yes. And especially with NFTs now, we know what happened last year. They were good ones, not, not so good ones. But the ones that, the, the NFTs, the people have the good intentions, the good community are the ones that stay. And obviously, yeah. you as an artist, uh, you have the, not only the, the good will, if not your art is very good, people with, it's like normal art, right? Exactly, exactly. But the only thing is, is normal art, think about it. In normal art, you don't have to produce 10,000 pieces. Sure. Of, you know, like, as a manager for community. So I think this is where this whole NFTs of 10,000, that is where it gets confusing for art and for artists and even for collectors. Am I buying this NFT because I want to be part of a liquidity pool which I can trade? Or am I buying it because actually the art speaks to me? Yeah. And I think the problem with a lot of, is the world is crossed over they're two separate you can have a venn diagram that is both but now it's too much pressure on the artist to have this thing and then that uh, becomes like an i'm an ex-banker then it just becomes like trading stocks yeah. unregulated trading stocks so like how you know i feel there's still a lot of um education and knowledge even even for the web3 user as a how do you differentiate the two do you, do you agree i agree yeah, I agree with you. And every time that you say that you're an expander, it's fascinating. And you're an, an NFT artist, very well known, which yeah, is yeah. amazing. So, but what do you think is the best part about the NFT space that you like the most? And what do you think the future of NFT is, is the story for us? For me, what I love about, I would say, not just only the NFT space, uh, you know, the metaverse um, and the full web free space overall is the creativity that it okay. unlocks. Never before, we are seeing a fundamental shift in how we experience creativity. Like, let's talk about AI, right? Like, the visual representations that come out of this thing. I mean, as an artist, I mean, like, sometimes I have to stop myself on AI because I think I get a, I get okay. such a dopamine hit. Yeah. That I mean, like, literally, I can't, I force myself, I can't look at a, 
do I can't create on AI in the evening because I can't see I can't see like scrolling through social media but then because my creative brain literally just wants to explode and so I think that people are not people who are scared of tech and AI and web and and I'm just like you as an artist we're going to we are going to be the leaders in this space in fact we are the ones who are going to shape okay we're actually the ones who are going to shape um how the metaverse is going to look like i created a world because like obviously we live in this world we're dictated by gravity we have to sit down right but now in the metaverse we don't have to sit on the ground we can float so i created a, a, a metaverse world where you can go and meditate to a floating crystal. Why does it need to be on the table? A floating crystal that breathes in and out while you sit on a yoga, floating yoga mat. And so now I'm creating a fantastical world that guess what? We can actually pull that world into the physical world. So I think we're gonna see creativity like never before that exists digitally first, then we bring it to the physical. Because at the moment, we create things physically and we transform them to digital. I call it being meta reverse. Ah. So I've created my own language, even in the metaverse. The meta reverse. Meta reverse. And Rita, I have two more questions. Yeah, go for it. Uh, how people can find you on social media? So um, my Instagram is art.by.amrita. And I'm on LinkedIn at Amrita Seti and at Twitter, art by Amrita. So, um, Follow me on all those channels. I will follow you now with reports yeah. and reshare and everything. Oh, and the last so question, much. what do you do your, your outfit? You, you go with the crypto use uh, oh. colors. Oh, well, you know, that's it. Well, I'm a big fan in also fashion in this space. Yeah. Um, being very forward thinking as well. Um, and just um, a little bit as well is like, where are you from? Colombia. Colombia. So I'm originally from Kenya, but I'm Indian origin. Wow. And I've lived in Dubai for many years and British. And what I find is very sad is like you look at the richness of your country, like Colombian, the textiles, India. Look at, I mean, I bought this actually yeah. in India. And what I find is I would also want to, but we all wear these suits and ties and these t shirts, very Western clothing. And what I want to do is actually, why are we not bringing in the physical world and in the digital world more our style and celebrate? I want Westerners to be copying our mode of dressing combining with a futuristic feel and then i do a lot of augmented reality clothing so i'm known for i put nfc chips in my clothes qr codes and the whole outfit comes because it's transforming everything we do black crypto yes and rita collaboration oh yeah let's do it and rita thank you so much for coming and thank you so much art and no metal reverse metaverse yeah. instead <laughs> absolutely see, see you soon, thank guys. you so bye much bye. perfect great thank Photo? you so much yeah definitely.